To find the oxidation numbers for each element here in Ca3N2, we'll use these general rules. The first thing to notice is there's no negative or positive sign after the calcium nitride. That means it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they'll add up to zero. That's very helpful. Calcium, that's in group two on the periodic table. Because it's in group two, it'll have a plus two oxidation number. Nitrogen, we don't see on our list. So think of it this way. Everything's got to add up to zero. Three times plus two, that's plus six. So we'll need a minus six on this side here. So what can we multiply by two times something? That'll give us minus six. Two times minus three, that gives us minus six. So the oxidation state on each nitrogen is going to be minus three. There's one more way we could do this. If we didn't know the nitrogen, we could just call it x. Then we could set an equation up because all of this has to equal zero. Three times two, that's six, plus two times x, two x equals zero. Subtract six from both sides, we get two x equals minus six. Divide both sides by two, and x will equal minus three. So once again, the oxidation state on the nitrogen will be minus three. Each nitrogen will have an oxidation number of minus three. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for each element here in calcium nitride. Thanks for watching.